No couch, but you still get Chris. Ladies, gentlemen, geeks of all ages, you are now entering BJ Shea's Geek Nation. Welcome. Hey guys, Chris Walker here, Walk Like a Flame with BJ Shea's Geek Nation. Back again with another episode of On the Couch with Chris. But not on the couch. We're moving studios here at KISW in a little while, and they have removed all of the cool stuff off the walls except for that neon poster, and I can't move the couch over there. So I'm going to walk around with this selfie stick and let you guys have a look and see. Like, all the stuff that I used to use behind my YouTube uh, dress up the background, gone. So there's the couch. I'm Chris. But uh, also today I want to talk a little bit because Game Informer just put out their list of the top 100 RPG games ever. It's a pretty epic list. I've played most of them. I'd say probably about one in three, one in four on that list. Witcher 3, Fallout 4, and number one was uh, Elder Scrolls Skyrim. And that, for me, is definitely the greatest RPG ever. Fantastic game, unstoppable. I've played it all the way through several times, trying different character styles, different play styles, going good, going evil, all of that stuff. RPG games in general though, they give you a lot of that option and a lot of those choices that you can make to really kind of tailor the game. And replay value on RPGs is really, really high if you don't mind spending a whole lot of time getting back into it. I don't play a lot of Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy, not really my jam. I don't uh, I don't get down on the uh, turn-based uh, strategy stuff like that as far as that goes. I mean, and I understand it's got a huge following. It's got some amazing characters some of the greatest graphics ever, but Final Fantasy, I just don't really play it. It's not really my thing. I got a little bit worried about something that was called Final Anything and then being a sequel. Seems weird to me, but whatever. That's how it goes. A lot of really other good stuff on the list. Uh, most of the Mass Effect titles made it. Andromeda, uh, a uh, strange uh, one to leave off of there, but hey, you know what? It's still pretty new. Destiny, quite a bit farther down the list than I was expecting. I think it was like middle 80s or something like that. I'd have to double check on there, but I thought Destiny would probably be a lot higher. Really, really popular one. I think all of the Elder Scrolls games are on there as well as all the Fallout games, including Fallout, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 3, they're all on there. Pokemon made the list, great RPG, you know, I mean, it is still an RPG, you're leveling up, you're wandering around, a lot of free world exploration and things like that. How about you? What's your favorite uh, RPG video game? Uh, leave me a comment down below in the messages and let me know uh, and we can get a conversation going about that. Share, like, subscribe, the three things I'm always gonna ask you to do, but for now guys, stay nerdy. Um, all the Skyrims made it on there. Skyrims. I gotta find someplace else to film.